and welcome back to QC Makeup Academy's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look which is a golden goddess look. It's ultimately just a bronzed up face with some nice golden eyes. Let's jump right into the tutorial. I've already got one eye done and now I'm going to move on to the other eye. I'm going to be doing my face last just so I can go into more detail about face shapes and bronzing. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay eyeshadow and chopper. And this is a really nice copper bronzing colour and I'm going to pop that all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to apply that just underneath my lower lash line, just on the inner half. Next I'm going to take my Chi Chi Bronzers palette and I'm going to be taking this nice bronzed colour right here and I'm going to be sweeping that all the way through my crease. So I'm just sweeping that through my crease, not too carefully because with bronzing looks I don't really feel like they need to be too precise. I'm also going to take that and apply that to the outer half of my lower lash line. That's just going to smoke it out a little bit and make it look more bronzed. To highlight, I'm just going to use the white from the Chi Chi Bronzers palette. I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone and then my inner corner. Next, I'm going to apply some false lashes and I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. And while I lash glue dries, I'm just going to apply some mascara and this is the Essence Mascara. And I'm just going to be applying that to my lower lash line and just the roots of my top lashes. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Yogurt. And this is a really nice bronzed eyeliner. I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. Next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm going to be using my Face of Australia Brow Kit. For this look I feel like you can definitely get away with bolder arched brows. First of all, starting from the base, we always want to prime, so I'm going to be using my She Pure Magic Primer. I'm just going to concentrate that on my T-zone or wherever you get oily. Next, so that we have the perfect base, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Concealer, and this is the Salmon Tone, so that does counteract the purpleness underneath my eyes. It's also going to highlight underneath your eyes. I'm just going to dab that in with my fingertips. It's also going to clean up any of that fallout underneath your eyes. Just because I was using shimmery shadow, sometimes you do get a bit of shimmer fallout. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stain Ivory. Hey, hey, hey. Then to set that in place, I'm going to be using my Revlon DNA Powder in Translucent. I'm just going to use my Napoleon Purtis Contour Palette and I'm going to be using the brown shade just right here. Finally moving on to the bronzer, I'm going to use my Bourjois Bronzing Powder. I chose this one just because it is a light bronze and as you can tell I'm very fair. So definitely depending on your skin tone depends on how much bronze you can add and what shade you can go for. I have to limit the bronzer and I have to keep it a very low key colour. Just so I can cover more of a larger surface area, I'm going to be using one of, one of QC's brushes and this is the large fluffy brush. The next part all depends on your face shape. So typically if you have a round face shape, you want to be contouring all the way down your face. That's going to be coming in a bit just around here. If you're square like myself, you want to be applying it just on your temples and then just down here. If you have a heart shaped face, you want to be going from your temples to underneath your cheekbone. If you have oval shaped face, you pretty much don't need to add like a contour or a bronzer unless you just want it for the colour. If you have a pear shaped face, you want to be adding your bronzer just to this area right here. And lastly, if you have a long face, you want to be just adding it to the bottom of your chin. But for me, because I am a square shaped face, I'm going to be adding it from my temples down to underneath my cheekbones. And then just on top of my jawline here. So we have that sun kiss glow. I'm going to be adding that just to my cheekbone as well. As you can see, I've applied it in this area here, along my cheekbone, and then just on my jaw here. Last but not least, just to finish it off, I'm going to add a bit of a shimmery highlight. And this is by Napoleon Curtis. You apply that on my cheekbones, forehead, down my nose and on my cupid's bow. Lastly, you can add any lip colour that you desire, but I added Lime Crimes Coquay just because I feel like it goes perfectly with a bronze look. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. If you did find it helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also please subscribe to QC Makeup Academy's YouTube channel. Also all the links will be below, so their website, their Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you are interested in becoming a makeup artist, then definitely go check them out. So thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye!